you know there is one emotion which has no word in any of the world's languages except sanskrit what if i tell you that i'll give you the vacation experience next time you commute from home to office and what if i tell you that your gardening skills can help you get rid of negative thoughts hi guys i'm amrit deshmukh your booklet guy and today i'm going to share top 5 lessons from one of my favorite books think like a monk train your mind for peace and purpose every day written by as you all know the instagram superstar jay shetty let's get started we all know the words compassion and empathy which is trying to feel the pain of the other person without experiencing it of course it's a fantastic emotion we have to cultivate it but what about taking joy in other people's achievements in other people's happiness there is no such word in english perhaps that's what the culture is is the taunt given by the author but there is a word in sanskrit to take joy in other people's happiness it's called mudita do you think it will be so fantastic that you start taking joy happiness in other people's achievements your probability of happiness will be increased 10 times because now you won't be happy only for your achievements but for others as well it's a simple way to increase your happiness by 10 times so let's all practice mudita the next big idea is find new in the old when the author jay shetty was a monk he along with his monk friends were asked to move from one place to another almost every day the same route every day how boring isn't it but they were asked to do one thing every day they walk from place a to place b they are supposed to find something new maybe spot that flower was very fresh yesterday but it's not so fresh today oh that stone was wet yesterday and dry today you see finding new in the old will suddenly make you a curious man that means curiosity is a choice you suddenly start enjoying the same daily mundane routine jobs so see new in the old the third big idea is your mind is like a garden yes very good analogy so if you want your garden to have beautiful flowers you have to take lot of efforts you have to plant the desirable plants water them fertilize them only then the desired plants will grow and if you do nothing the unwanted weeds start growing and they don't need any special effort that's exactly what happens with our mind you need to take special efforts to grow positive thoughts in your mind but negative thoughts don't need anything so doing nothing will also not help you have to put special deliberate efforts to keep positive thoughts in your mind that's because we are naturally inclined to think negatively ask a mother whose son is late by 2 hours from his college and suddenly he starts worrying did he meet with an accident and then comes a call from his father oh don't worry there might be an extra lecture today and gradually start thinking positively so the first thought is usually negative you have to put efforts to grow those desirable positive plants in your mind we all think that yes money is important to our happiness it is true but to a certain extent approximately up to 80000 rupees a month yes your happiness is directly proportionate to the income but after 80000 per month increase in income has nothing to do with your happiness after a few crores money becomes just a number initially yes increase in money improves your standard of living and thereby happiness but not after a certain point once the author and his friend used to visit a pan wala and have pan every day and the pan wala was very rude to both of them but every time the author used to respond him calmly peacefully and cheerfully one day his friend got frustrated the pan wala keeps on insulting you why do you just give him back and the author said let him play his character i will continue playing my character if i start reacting the way he wants then i am moving away from my character and playing his character and he wins that's my dharma so let him play his character and i'll continue play my own character so let's take a vow play our own character not others so these were the top 5 ideas i learned from the book think like a monk by jay shetty my whole approach towards people money things and the world in general 
changed after reading this book i would love to see in comments what you learned from this book so happy reading and bye bye